47, Gino. Quit talking like that. We want a regulation decision. Here's a flanker around pass. McClure throwing wide open, making the reception, and going for a score is Sean Velto. And the Warriors will go to tie it or take the lead. A flanker around pass. Velto's that quick. He had two yards on him, and he kept it. Soto for the important conversion. It's up, and we're tied at 21. What a ball game. I tell you what, great crowd, great night, as we said. You should be here, right? Yeah, it's a good thing he got it up in the air or it gets blocked. He had that 5.28 to go in the ball game. What do you think, John? A few hundred people here tonight? Oh, I don't know what the crowd is. It's a nice crowd. It would have been nice to have a packed stadium because I tell you what, it's been a very exciting football game. There aren't that many open seats on the north and south sides. 53-yard scoring pass from flanker Jeremy McClure to wide out Sean Veltro on the flanker around pass. And kicking off is Taylor short to Richardson at the 20. Right up the gut. 30, 35, almost to the 40. 39-yard line. Making the stop, Jeremy McClure. So Central has good field position. Now both teams just keep slugging. Crusaders will go to work first and 10 at their own 39. And Winters will looking to make that stop. The last, what, four possessions now have ended in touchdowns. Uh -huh. All scores. Very easy to keep track of. So Central has 5-13 to go in the contest. 21-21 tie. It's been Central on the ground and Wintersville in the air with the exception of the Oldham 73-yard run. They fake the toss, hand off inside, and Richardson is stacked up at the 40, maybe progress to the 41. Big hit put on by 55. Scotty Benkowitz has played a fine down. Central with only 13 in the air. So you can see 21-21 tie, the yardage about even. Option left, Marcino cuts it across the 40, spins to the 45 and a half. He went to the short side, Boer on the stop, along with Tommy Emery. It'll be third and four at the 45 and a half. Remember that short side option, you like to get there as quick as possible and hope. We're tied at seven at the half. Central took a 14-7 lead to go into the fourth quarter. Wintersville tied it. Central went on top, and now Wintersville is tied it again. Marcino back in the pocket, going over the middle. McClure intercepts at the 28. He's at the Warrior 40, looking for a block. He won't get it. He's down at the 40, but Wintersville has the football. The attended receiver was Mike. And Wintersville has it with 3.30 to go in the game. Central's third turnover. First and 10 at the Warrior 40. The draw play, big hole, Odom tripped up at the 44, dives across the 45 and pinned down by Paul Wilson at the 47, but the big trip up was made by our man Elroy. Brian, 143 yards. Second and four, pro eye for Mikey Cottis. Hands to his fullback, Boer. And Sean will get to the 48, maybe the 49. It'll be third and short. Big third down play coming up. Well, I think they'd run it twice, or run it once and call a timeout. They're in that odd formation. Handoff, Oldham stacked up at midfield. It'll be close, but I think he shorted the first down. He couldn't get the ball out to had it hold of his arms. Scotty Bloomer did. Also 54, Colin Kelly. Fourth and shot. Shot. Sir. Shot at midfield with a minute and 43 to go. This this is measurable. Looks like he's going to be short. Ask you why. Oh, uh, here's here's where you know being a coach can be difficult. Oh, you're making a difficult decision. There's it's, no decision. Here you go for stretched. it. I'm gonna tell you, it can't get any closer. They're looking. They're looking, and it's inches. <laughs> Rich Suckard said, "Oh, he's ready to throw the flag." Well, I tell you what, here's where I would like to throw the ball. I, I know that sounds funny up here in the blue. Everybody's expecting you to run, run, run. Throw the ball and get a touchdown, but they're going to quarterback sneak it. They're going for it. The clock will turn. Fourth and inches at midfield. Cottis will sneak it for the first down. The safest play you can come up with. He's at the central 48. Mike picks up a couple. Eight. Wintersville in a pro eye with Oldham, the tailback, Boer, the fullback. Caught his back. 
looking, throwing for McClure. Jeremy with a leaping catch at the 35. He's over the 30. A great reception. Jeremy McClure leaped over a couple of defenders. Aaron Talensic finally made the stop. What a great catch, and I think the Warriors want a timeout. We got a flag? Yeah, I think it's going to be a defensive hold. Okay. What a catch by Jeremy McClure. He was covered like a blanket, and he leaped and made... Yanni, if he turns, he has himself an interception. Penalty decline there, 40. After the pass intercept by Jeremy McClure, they're in the pro eye, holding the tailback. Option right, caught it, fakes the pitch, crosses the 25 and is down at the 23. Colin Kelly back at the linebacker spot makes the hit. He's been bothered by a shoulder injury and he gets up slow. Pick up a four for Cottis to the 23. Second and six. 21-21. Time a factor. 53 seconds to go in this exciting contest. Kent McClure right. Jeremy McClure left. The gold, Officials whistle. If you're the Golden Warriors, you have to get closer. You need to get close enough to kick that field goal. The Crusaders called timeout. With 46 seconds to go, we're tied at 21. We'll be back in 30 seconds. If it kicked the ball poorly, he's kicked it very well with good distance on his extra points. But you like to get it in there close and make it a chip shot. I thought it was a good timeout by uh, the Crusader defense Seven. to get organized. Well, plus you let the Golden Warriors camp come out and use as much time as they were going to use anyway. Second and... Six at the 23, caught us back in the pocket. The blitz is on, caught us as hit. Stanwick drives him down at the 26. Richardson came on the corner, blitz. Didn't get him, but flushed him out of the pocket. And then Stanwick did get him for a loss. Big defensive play. And the clock's running. Now they call timeout. 26 seconds to go. They're marking at the 25. I disagree with two. that spot. Where did you think it was? 26. Okay. But when he when he slammed him down, he was at the 26. I don't know what, as we mentioned, Bodo's kicking ability is. For it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy McClure left. That's our boy. That's Jay Retton. Kent McClure to the right. Third and long. Caught his back. Going for McClure. Maybe intercepted by Gibson at the seven. 15, he's got blockers, but caught from behind. Boy, if we're going overtime. He had a man on each side. If one of them blocks, he's, he might be gone, John. No one blocked. Meanwhile, Oldham made the big tackle. And Wintersville's intercepted for the second time. Well, I, I think you Central fall down will, on the ball. Fall down, in fact, the clock's running. They won't even get a playoff. We're going to overtime, and we'll let you explain that, big boy. That's simple. You start on the 20, you can pick up a first down. Each team gets a chance, one opposite the other. We'll have a three-minute intermission, flip the coin. The winner gets to choose whether he goes first or second. And I told you, I felt overtime.